So what do you think? I mean, we just got back from our trip. Everything has grown tremendously. It looks great. Um, that just means we're one step closer to harvesting. Um, lots of lettuce, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Hey, do I do I have an excuse to come in here and get uh, the flamethrower going? Yes, you do. Please. Boom. Mm -hmm. You hear that? We have an excuse to flamethrow. Mommy <laughs> might want to do it. You want to do it? I might. She might want to accidentally get me though. <laughs>
Okay, you see it's getting dark. We got those road covers done. We're gonna get the cow um, alley moved over because again, she's getting close to calving. Actually, she is sitting so low. Uh, her back end is, is showing that she's ready to deliver. But there's just no calf yet. But we're going to go ahead and get her in the dairy extension side, get her away from all the other cows. So that way if she does calf, it's just her and her calf and she don't have to worry about, um, you know, the other cows messing with her. Because she gets a little feisty, even with them just being around her because she's the alpha. So I'm going to get her moved over right quick. We are going to move the silage chart back to get a little bit more coverage on it because we are very pleased with what it's doing. Look how good our greens are doing doing very good very pleased with those so let's get the cow moved and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with these peas all right let's get them moved all right which one do you want to take Allie over yeah i will okay if you'll take Allie, i'm gonna take the other get the others come on guys come on Allie. come on Allie. all right so misty's got Allie moving over her and aiden and then i've got the rest of them we're gonna get them all over Get them out of this field, get them on some rye grass, and uh, give them a break from hay just for a little bit. Come on, hip hip. Hip hip. I gotta get them all out. If I if I go in and do it and, and start turning, hey girl. If I go in and turn, Ike uh, is not too smart and he'll try to run the fence line and try to get out another way. So we're gonna try to get them all this way. Come on, yep, yep. So let's get them all out in this paddock and then we'll move them on over. Come on, yep, yep. All right, let's give them just a second to get on out. Daddy is walking slow. Here he Come on, guys, yep. I hope you can see me. Look, they're all excited. We're going to the first time they're on a big patch of rye. And I know it's dark, so I'm sorry you can't see. But we're going to go and get them in here. Let them have some rye. Come on. Yep. Yep. Come on. Yep, yep. Come on, guys. There they come. You see, we just do it when we can. It's dark. I hate to be doing it now, but when the time changes, it puts us in a bind for afternoon chores. So it's just dark. So. Look at them. Fresh grass, fresh grass. So that gives them a break from the hay for a little bit. Let them eat this. They've been eating hay all day. So just remember, it's not a have to, but cows will eat their weight in rye grass. So what we do is we'll feed them heavy with hay and then release them in here at evening. So that way they're not really wanting to eat a lot. It kind of helps to get in their ruminant, their system. That way they're not just gorging themselves and giving themselves, you know, massive loads of diarrhea or skyers or uh, just messing. That's, I think that's what messed up uh, Elsa. A lot of times they can get pneumonia because of all the wetness in the ground and the moisture in the grass compared to hay. And they eat so much of it so quick, it's like their system can't catch up. So I think it's good that we let them in at night. I'm going to pick up some of this hay because I don't waste any hay. So I'm going to pick that up. And hopefully call it a night so let's go check on see what mama's got done with the uh, alley girl see if she's over taking care of and I don't hear them screaming at me so I'm guessing they got her over with no issue <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that done we gotta move water right quick before it gets too dark where we can't see we got Allie to the side Colby's over with the other cows but she is in the field that she's gonna stay in until she has her baby this is where we milk so we're just waiting on her to have her calf um, and then what she does of course um, she will stay over here by herself for a period of time but we just keep waiting she's getting a treat for following um, like she does she either walks in front or in front of us or behind us so she's made it over here to her per permanent um fencing area fenced in area until she has her baby so now we just wait <laughs> 